evening, and welcome to episode 187 of Getting Rich. I'm your host, Rich Checkin, president of Asset Strategies International, and today is Wednesday, August 14th, 2024. Well, the games of the 33rd Olympiad have concluded in Paris, France, and the U.S. was the big winner, taking home 126 medals, 35 better than the next closest competitor. That's 40 gold, 44 silver, and 42 bronze. Well done, Team USA. Uh, the other day, we received the producer price index numbers. Uh, they came in lower than forecasted. Uh, we were expecting a 0.2% increase month on month. We got a 0.1% increase and a 2.2% increase uh, from this time last year. Uh, everybody's awaiting the numbers for the consumer price index, which the producer price index feeds into, uh, has an impact on. Uh, those numbers are due out later today. Everybody's paying attention to see where the Fed might go in September with potential rate cuts starting and continuing throughout the end of the year. Now, everybody out there feels like we're in a recession already. Not everybody, 60% of folks uh, through a firm survey, or 59% to be exact, suggest that we are in a recession right now, although we are technically not. I'm gonna to get to more of that in a second, but first I wanna talk about the recovery in the precious metals over the past week. Uh, as expected, as predicted last week, gold and silver were pulled back as, uh, Investors sought liquidity to cover their margin calls and the bleeding in their portfolios uh, when the stock markets pulled back precipitously, and they're going to be the first to recover, and that's what we're seeing. So let's take a look at those prices. Gold is up 3.2% in the past week. It's at 2,474.80 this morning. It was 23.98 last week. Silver's up 2.9% to $28 this morning. It was 27.20 a week ago. Platinum is up 2.8% as well. Uh, it's at 953 an ounce. It was 927 last week. And palladium is up 7.6% to $973. Uh, it was 904 an ounce last week. With gold slightly outperforming silver, your gold silver ratio ticked up slightly. It's at 88.39. That's how many ounces of silver it takes to buy an ounce of gold right now. It was 88.16 last week. And the dollar continues to slowly recede in, in uh, strength. It's at 102.46 on the index this week. It was 103.18 last week. Uh, so there's talk about the recession. This Affirm survey came out. Basically, three out of five people believe we're in a recession because, let's face it, people are hurting right now. We know this. Now, uh, the National Bureau of Economic Research is a nonprofit based in Cambridge, uh, Massachusetts. They were formed in 1920, and they're basically the folks that make the call as to whether or not we're in a recession, and they do so after the fact because that's how you can call a recession. The definition of a recession is a period of temporary economic decline during which trade and industrial activity are reduced, generally identified by a fall in GDP in two successive quarters. And folks, we just haven't seen that yet, okay? So by definition, we are not in a recession. Uh, now, the pundits out there will have you believe the economy is strong. I don't believe, and you've heard me say this, it's as strong as it, it uh, is perceived to be. And the reason for that is we've got a lot of debt that's actually fueling uh, this economy right now, and that's not something that can be sustained. So the numbers from the New York uh, Federal Reserve came out on debt, and they're not, they're not pretty. Um, total household debt uh, is up to $17.8 trillion. Now keep in mind, we only have about $23 trillion in savings deposits and, and, and positive bank accounts. Uh, so we're, we're nearing the point where we're completely indebted uh, as individual households. Um, the composition of that household debt, $12.5 trillion of it is in mortgages, uh, $1.14 trillion in credit cards, uh, $1.6 trillion in auto uh, debt. Now, the delinquency rates are what concerns me. They're all on the rise. Uh, for credit cards, delinquency rate is up to 11%. Uh, for auto loan delinquency, it's up uh, one point shy of its peak in 2008. And other debt delinquencies are up 
8.5%. All three of those numbers are returning us to 2008 peaks, and we know what that was. That was the Great uh, Recession. Um, so the, the bottom line is the economy is not strong. People are struggling out there. They're paying for things with credit cards. This is not sustainable. You need gold in your portfolio. Do so now, please. Do yourself a favor. Protect your purchasing power for the future. Buy gold today. As always, we'd like you to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us, send us your comments and questions. Follow us on social media. Follow our twice weekly Always Something Interesting alerts and our once monthly information line newsletter. But in the end, don't ever forget that getting rich starts with keeping what's yours.